Alright, uh, so I tried to start the next uh, episode and ended up restarting the first episode. Uh, the menu screen in this game is confounding. I'm not a fan. I hit new game and it instantly started me. Yeah, here we go. See, this will work. Okay, m uh, Moa Better Blues is episode two. A uh, surprise trip to the tropics turns into a working vacation when Sam and Max sign up to stop a massive volcano eruption. Will their special blend of bewildering wit and renegade justice be enough to win over the gods? Not to mention the locals. Let's play it! It's coming, I'm telling you. This loading screen can't go on forever, or can it? Oh, okay. Sam's a, a title screen. What are you doing? We made pretty good time coming back from the North Pole, eh, Max? If you say so, Miss Daisy. If I'd been driving, it wouldn't have taken us a whole month to get home. Well, I've got to go drain a DeSoto. You should have taken care of that before we left. Somebody insisted that we drive through the Hudson Bay with the top down. Ah! What? 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 what the hell was that? <laughs> hmm. Unless I miss my guess, Sybil's being pursued by some kind of rogue semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> think we should try to help her? Can't think of anything better to do. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what's going on anymore. Like, nothing makes. And she's still right. <laughs> That's awesome. Christmas saved. Santa pronounced dead at the scene. He's not dead. Just in hell. Probably best if we let the kids just think he's dead. Parakeet revolution quelled. But I suspect the pigeons are still planning a coup. Ha <laughs> ha! It's putty! Alright. Let's see why Bosco covered everything with tinfoil. <laughs> Hey, Bosco, what do you know about suddenly appearing interdimensional portals? I hear a lot of things. What does it look like? Three sides, reddish, chasing Sybil. Oh, what you've got there is a Bermuda Triangle. Of course. Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> Wait, chasing Sybil? You mean it's here? Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. What's the Bermuda Triangle doing all the way up here? Sometimes they just like to wander. Unless it was summoned by T H E M. Who summoned the triangle here? I told you, T H E M. I really hope you're talking about the giant ants this time. Nice. Giant ants? That's crazy. I'm talking about the mysterious cabal of controllers who summon the triangles as sentient portals to do their dark bidding. Well, that makes sense. If there's a triangle in our neighborhood, that means they're coming. How do we help Sybil? Once a triangle gets imprinted on you, it's tough to shake it. But they say you can train them if you can figure out how to communicate with them. Okay. How do we communicate with the triangle? They're very attracted to symbols and sigils. And Sybils, apparently. <laughs> Those two. They're not real picky. They're driven <laughs> by shapes and colors. A pink rhombus makes it nostalgic for the 50. A red <laughs> octagon makes it stop whatever it's doing. A blue icosahedron makes it sit in its mom's basement and draw maps of dungeons. And they can't see or hear. So you've got to feed them a symbol of what you want them to do. Got it. We'd like to buy something, though. We'd like to buy something. I told you fools last time, <laughs> the store is closed. 
but I've been craving a pack of beef tarts for weeks now. It's the delicious tangy candy that makes its own gravy. Help us out, Bosco. Stop wasting my time. I'll never get the bunker ready if you two keep jabbering at me. Why does the Bermuda Triangle have such a grudge against all those boats and planes? Oh, the Triangle got a bad rap for that. Scientists say those accidents were caused by sudden, explosive outbursts of methane gas. Speaking of which... Max, don't. What, Sam? I was going to point out that many phenomena long believed to have paranormal causes have actually turned out to be far more mundane in origin. Only one phenomenon's tremendous power continues to baffle scientists and defy rational explanation. What's that? <laughs> I love I love the misleads in this game. Like it's so Keep watching the skies, Bosco. It's always such a ridiculous ah, everything about it. Okay. So anyway, there's a stop sign in the diner. I'm sure that's what we need to feed to the triangle, but <laughs> um Wow. Anyway. Okay, these guys have anything to say? Anything fun? Howdy, cops. How's the auto body business? Hello, we're working on... <coughs> Hello, we're working on the most... <coughs> Please calm down, lady! <laughs> We're sorry, we cannot handle your request until you've taken care of the noise problem. Okay. We gotta go into Stinkies. Abe will probably be in there. I guess. He's probably worried. Stinky probably has stuff to say. I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised we're getting into this as quickly as we are. How oh, damn it, stupid spot. Hiya, Stinky. Oh, it's you guys. Hank and Jethro, was it? Sam and Max, actually. What are you doing? What? I was just taking care of some cleaning. If that's a blood stain, you should be sure to use... bleach. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Is that a blood stain? What are you cleaning up? Is that a blood stain? Don't be ridiculous, blood. You act like I killed Stinky or something. Grandpa. Grandpa Stinky. Oh boy, <laughs> intrigue! <laughs> oh, this is just cherry marinara sauce for the meatball banana split pie Italiano. Well, that does sound tasty. Um, what happened to the old, yeah. Whatever happened to the original Stinky anyway? He retired. Went on an around the world cruise. Stinky hated traveling. And water. And the world! Yeah, well, he must have changed his mind. So are you two going to order anything? Watch out for triangles! A rogue triangle is chasing after Sybil. Triangle? <laughs> yeah, that's not really my thing. I specialize in the more circular, interdimensional portals. Some expert! Yes, Stinky. You're an expert in portals, like President Max is an expert in diplomacy. Risk is more my thing. <laughs> okay. Um, Sybil needs our help. Any ideas to help Sybil? Drop that Lincoln guy like a bad habit. We meant more short term, but thanks. <laughs> and what's the special? What's the special today? Oh, it's just a sandwich I whipped up for the Camp David Middle East Peace Summit in 2000. Roast beef, Munster cheese on a slab of granite on sliced sourdough. Nothing special. A slab of granite? Yeah, you know, for texture. On the kids' menu, I substitute a slab of basalt. It's easier for the little ones to digest. Fair enough. And what's Flint Paper doing here? What's Flint Paper doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. He's been here all morning. Well, Nervous about having a trio of ace detectives snooping into your little scheme, lady? Oh, don't be silly. I just have to move some things out of the meat locker. But I can't if I keep having to refill his java and empty his ashtray. All right. Next time you hear from him, tell Grandpa Stinky we said hello. Oh, I don't think we'll be hearing from him 
ever again. Because you sent him on a permanent vacation? No, because he was a cheapskate and I refuse to collect calls. What is it with you guys? All right, so long. We're not ordering anything. Bye, Stinky. <laughs> we need the stop sign. Can we borrow your sign, Stinky? It's kind of important. Well, okay. But bring it back. It's a national heirloom. That's the stop sign that would have prevented the Kennedy assassination if Connolly hadn't run it. All right. Look, Max, it's our neighbor, Flint Paper. Hiya, fellas. Keep it on the down low, would you? I'm doing surveillance. Oh, boy. Real detective work. Who are you spying on? Some mug name of Bosco. <laughs> Why are you checking out Bosco, Flint? For a client, Samo. Said she was the poor chump's mom. She was a real no-nonsense dame with legs up to here. Hairy legs, but still. <laughs> I don't know if we're done with that or not. <laughs> like, we probably should be, but... How goes the stakeout? Getting interesting, fellas. Bosco may be on the move. Yeah? He's acting awful suspicious. Oh, that's just Bosco. All right. Well, we have a stop sign. We could save Sybil. The bug's still here? No. Okay. It always shows that two-headed Buddha. It's so weird. Almost unsettling. All right. So we just took 12 minutes to do something very obvious and basic. <laughs> like... Huh, we lost everything else we had. All right, we have a stop sign. Nothing doing. What? It's hard to hit that triangle. I got it that time. Take that triangle. Stopped. Well, there's another case solved. I heard screaming. Are you all right, Sybil? My whoa, what's happening? I regret nothing. Abe, no, be strong, my marble darling. I'll save you. But she just spelled like an hour running from As that. I was saying, there's another case solved and with minimal casualties. What do you think's on the other side, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Probably some horrible alternate dimension ruled by incomprehensibly horrific ancient gods seeking to bring chaos to this plane. You want to jump in? You can read my mind, Sam. God, I hope not. <laughs> All right, in we go. So, I do have to say very quickly, uh, first off, I regret nothing is a famous quote by a Nazi. Uh, I've yelled it myself, actually. I don't know why it's so famous, but, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's Herman Gehring, uh, at the Nuremberg Trials. Um, but, uh, also, uh, the Bermuda Triangle is bunk. Just so everybody knows. It's not statistically, like, the disappearance of planes in areas, it, it, there's no, there's no statistical, like, significance to the amount that have disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle. It's just a normal amount. Somebody just drew a triangle and went, ooh, mysterious. Just so you know. Although, we, didn't we talk in another episode about me being a skeptic about everything? So I guess, you know, believe what you want to believe. It doesn't matter to me. More tropical than I imagined a horrific alternate dimension to be. Help! Help me! Help! Oh, you big baby. But my nose sunburns so easily. I'll get it for you later. Oh, hi, Sam and Max. Are you guys on vacation, too? Vacation? We came here to rescue you from unimaginable horrors beyond the portal of mystery. You could have at least had the courtesy to be impaled on spikes or something. Step aside, Harvey. You're blocking my tan. 
Well, thanks for the what? thought, guys. But this place is great. What was the name of it again? Rapa Nui? Rapa Nui. The crux of all paranormal activity in the South Pacific, commonly known as Easter Island. Because once you leave, three days later, you can't wait to come back. Abe and I thought this would be a great chance to get some alone time. Emphasis on alone. Ah, finally, someone has come to rescue us from the ancient prophecy. Whoa, they talk? Uh-oh, Sam. Ancient prophecies can only mean two things. Tedious backstories and work we don't get paid for. Fair enough. Let's hear them out, little buddy. Well, all right. Maybe these giant stone heads have something interesting to say. <laughs> What's all this about a prophecy? The ancient one said this was going to happen. It's the end of our civilization. But you can stop the prophecy and save us all. <laughs> all right, everybody, when we come back, what's the prophecy? Uh, I'll see you guys for that, and bye.